Once you have created blocks, you can insert them into a drawing. To insert a block on the Insert ribbon in the Block panel, expand the Insert button to view a gallery of blocks that already exist in the drawing. This same tool also appears on the Home ribbon in the Block panel. The easiest way to insert one of these blocks is to simply select it in the gallery. This will insert a copy of the block at its default size and rotation angle. The image of the block in the gallery shows its default rotation. If there are no blocks defined in the current drawing, the gallery will be empty. Select the desk. As soon as you do, the program prompts you to specify the insertion point. When you move the cursor, the block is attached to the cursor at its insertion base point. Click to place the desk inside the office to the left of the door. As soon as you specify the insertion point, the command ends. Expand the Insert tool again, and this time select the chair. Use Object Snap Tracking to place the chair three units away from the midpoint of the desk. Move the cursor near the front of the desk until you see the midpoint auto snap marker and tooltip. Then track away at a 180 degree angle, type 3, and press Enter. Expand the Insert tool again. Select the File Cabinet. Suppose you want to place a file cabinet to the right of the end of the desk. When you move the cursor, note that the file cabinet does not have the same default rotation angle as the desk and chair. So if you were to insert the file cabinet directly from the gallery, after you place it, you would need to rotate the block. Press Escape to cancel the command. Expand the Insert tool again but this time choose Recent Blocks to open the Blocks palette. This palette behaves just like any other palette. It can be docked, collapsed, resized, and so on. The palette initially opens to the Recent tab. Here, you can see the two blocks you just inserted. In the palette, switch to the Current Drawing tab. Now you can see all the blocks that already exist within the current drawing. These are the same blocks that appear in the block gallery. In the upper portion of the palette, select the File Cabinet block. In the Insert Options panel, you can control the insertion point, scale, and rotation angle. When insertion point is selected, the program will prompt you for the block insertion point just like when you insert a block from the gallery. If you were to clear this checkbox, you would then need to specify the precise X, Y, and Z coordinates before inserting the block. Similarly, if you were to select the Scale checkbox, the program would prompt you to specify the scale of the block when you insert it. Typically, blocks are already drawn at their proper size so you would leave this checkbox cleared. By default, the scale is set to a value of 1. If you clear the rotation checkbox, the block will be inserted using the rotation angle specified in the adjacent field. Since you know that you are going to have to rotate the block, select the rotation checkbox so that the program will prompt you for a rotation angle. Once you have selected the desired insert options, move the cursor into the drawing. Now you see a preview image of the block which moves as you move the cursor. Note that once you move the cursor into the drawing, you can no longer change any of the insertion options. Move the cursor over the lower right corner of the desk until you see the endpoint auto snap marker and tooltip. Then Use Object Snap Tracking to track down at a 270 degree angle. Type 3 and press Enter. Now the program prompts you to specify the rotation angle. Move the cursor until the block is aligned parallel with the end of the desk, 
which is a 270 degree rotation angle, and then click. As soon as you do, the command ends. The blocks palette remains visible so that you can easily use it again to insert other blocks. As you have seen, you can use the block gallery to quickly insert blocks into a drawing. When you do, those blocks insert at their default scale and rotation angle. When you want to insert a block at a different scale or rotation angle, however, you can use the blocks palette.